Okay, world, how you doing? Uh, this is, I don't know, I'm out in La Habra, Brea or somewhere. Anyways, uh, doing a little repair in a unit. A uh, guy put a screw through, when he was putting the cover back on, put a screw through the aluminum tube that ran across here. So we tried to do a repair like this with a compression fitting, and you can see the aluminum, you know, we tried to do it do this way, and it doesn't work. So just FYI for you, don't waste your time doing this. We did it like three times, and it doesn't work with the aluminum. But what I came up with was a piece of half-inch copper that we cut uh, a little section out of here of the aluminum, sanded it all up, and use half-inch copper um, as a big long sleeve, and the copper, the aluminum sticks in about this far and this far on on here, so you got some good amount of meat in there. And then I put some five-minute epoxy, which let me see, right here. Use this first, this five-minute epoxy Loctite, which uh, first on the ends here around the aluminum, around this area on the aluminum, and drives in like five minutes. But the five-minute epoxy only is good for oh, I forget what it was. The five-minute epoxy is good for only. Um, the temperature range or something wasn't right. Yeah, it would only withstands 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and but it's good to go full strength in 24 hours. So it's been about 24 hours, but only 120 degrees. So then we I used JB weld, which I've used on a couple of my other videos, which the JB weld is good for up to like 240 degrees um, at like. 2,427 pounds pressure or something like that. This was the four to six, this was the six minute dry JB weld. Um, so anyways, the only thing, it should be cool enough since it goes to 240, it is the hot gas line that you do have to remember coming off the compressor though. So hot gas is an old, like two tons, so hopefully the compressor is worn out enough to where the hot gas line, also it has enough heat removed to where it goes along here and so it should be cool enough, it should never hopefully exceed 240 here because your hot gas line is going to probably run, uh, you know, maybe around 200, something like that. So it'll be close, but anyhow. So then it, this is anyways the only quick fix on like the 100 year old whatever this thing is. I don't know, uh, somebody was saying it was a carrier, I don't know what it is. Maybe if you guys know what it is uh, and what size this thing is. I'm guessing it's about two ton. There's no tags on it, no whatever. But uh, anyhow, so this is just to fix, see if it works, instead of uh, doing a whole new unit, you know. So I just thought you guys would be interested. That we'll let you know, and I'll let you know if it works in the future. And uh, so anyhow, so this to fix JB weld over the five minute epoxy, and it's a copper section. Anyways, yeah, there's your JB quick stuff. Um, I would have preferred to use the standard uh, JB weld that I used in my other video, the long dry stuff. Uh, but this is what we have and this is what we're going to use. So, anyhow, uh, that's this is a repair of an aluminum condenser on an AC unit, like a two ton. I think it might be a carrier. Uh, so, anyhow, there you go. Thanks for watching.